I'm going to quickly cut across to Anjali Chavaria, who is a psychiatrist, joining us for a little clarity on uh, this young age, the stress and pressures of a life of being a star. And uh, is, is this a common development in the recent past? Youngsters uh, who have grown up in the social media age, are they more anxious? Uh, and is there a way to uh, treat this at an early age? Anjali, thank you very much for joining us. Doctor, give us an understanding on Tunisia's case. Uh, of course, we are not trying to cast any aspersions on anyone or, you know, go by hearsay. But just as per police reports that she was in a relationship with this boy, Shizan. Uh, it appears that they had broken up 15 days earlier and then came back to having lunch together that one day and 15 minutes later she was found hanging. Now, uh, of course, this, th th there's also investigation into the foul play in this case. But if this was uh, indeed a case of suicide, how would you look at this? A 20-year-old not being able to digest um, a breakup, is that a common uh, now behavior amongst youngsters lately? So, you know, what we've been seeing is that there are mental health issues which may go undiagnosed. And that is extremely important. I was just hearing about what y'all were sharing on television. And apparently, she has been talking about this or she's even attempted it. Now, was there a psychiatrist who was, you know, contacted at that stage? If not, why was she not? Like, suppose someone had a heart attack. Would we not do an ECG? Would we not call a cardiologist? So it's very important that every attempt of suicide is looked at very seriously. And what we are seeing is that if attempts are going, uh, you know, if people do not get the help that they need at that time, there may be successful events later, which may lead to lots of, you know, young lives being lost. Whatever the cause, there yeah, would are you be able to give us an understanding on what what a panic attack really means? Because uh, from what we hear, that uh, about 10 to 15 days before uh, she claimed her life, allegedly. The girl, Tanisha Sharma, had a panic anxiety attack and she was hospitalized right. for the same. And at the hospital, yes. she claimed uh, to accuse the boyfriend, Shizan, saying that he cheated on me, he wronged me, etc. That led to a panic right. attack and anxiety attack. Um, an anxiety right. attack itself, what does that mean? Of? Uh, what does that so, really signify? So that you, are, you may attack, be depressed? No. So an anxiety attack, just as it says, is just an anxiety attack where a person experiences either heart rate going up or feeling dizzy or just not being able to cope with the situation. Now, what happens is every anxiety attack has to be investigated, just as we would investigate every case of fever and check, do blood checks to find out why, that, why the fever happened. So similarly, anxiety attacks can be because of depression, can be because of stressful situations. But whatever it is, we need to take it very seriously. It's high time we, st we stop saying, oh, it's only anxiety, just cope with it. Why is it that the person is having an anxiety attack? We need to find that out and we need to help them to cope with whatever stressful situations that they may be facing. And we need to stop the stigma of taking help from a psychiatrist when required. Every case of a suicidal attempt or an anxiety attack or even a relationship stress there are relationship counselors. We need to find out that why is it that there, there could be so many breakups? Why is it that some people break up with the breakup and there are others who just can cope? Yeah. You know, Dr. Anjali, as we see of uh, Tunisia itself, she was quite happy just moments before she uh, allegedly committed suicide. Would you be able to tell us what, is, what does this behavior mean? You know, one, at one point, maybe just an hour ago, you're absolutely happy and seem quite calm and sorted. An hour later, you've, made, you've, you've uh, com attempted to kill yourself. You've taken this step, is, this normal, right. is, is this normal for a person to go from one extreme emotion to the other? So that's exactly what I'm saying, is that it is not normal. Now, what happens is what we see, you know, okay, she was probably showing or she was trying to be happy. You know, but that does not mean that she was happy. Now, why is it that if you're looking at the entire history, there have been, you know, mood instability, you know, and, uh, and a lot of teenagers may show this, you know, they may just show that, yes, they're able to cope with things and then they suddenly may do an act which can take their life.
so one needs to be extremely careful when teenagers are showing any kind of a uh, behavior which shows mood instability or which also shows any kind of uh, you know especially at these times whether it is failure in exams or failure in relationships you know they need to be taken care of and they need to be counseled and they need to be assessed for mental health issues you know we can't just leave them alone and say oh it's only a breakup or it's only a anxiety attack and deal with it everybody deals with it you know there's a lot of talk high around the stress that actors are possibly going through would you how would you look at tanisha's case because she was a child artist uh, is said to have been in the industry for at least a decade so she right at a young age adapted to all the you know the perils and the positives of uh, the film industry at all so i would you be able to uh, tell us if this could be something that that was stress related or this was more about the relationship going wrong work oh, so stress first and pressures all, yeah now everybody a lot of us have been under stress especially in the last 2 two, two and a half years where there was no work and of course all professions come with their stressors you know child actors have a lot of stress because you know they somewhere they may not even grow up the right ways because their childhood is taken away and yeah. they're supposed to behave in a certain way of course there are people who cope with it successfully and we cannot comment on this young girl because we do not know about her maybe she was coping but actors themselves have been going through a lot of stress because of the demanding industry and because of the inability to get you know work or inability to be able to handle their uh, family and their uh, you know work life balance so so uh, they have a lot of issues because you know what they portray and what they may be going through may be two different things you know now whether this is related to this act is very difficult to say but yeah. what we definitely know that according to who studies you know before the age of 14 at least 40% of of uh, children or adolescents have mental health issues and it's high time we start you know analyzing it 40% of, of adolescents and we in start recent times doing time. assessments yes now that that's that's a real huge of number of the added of social media issues yeah. are also different because again over there that that is a you know that's a real world and the real world may be very different from the real world you know uh, finally doctor we believe that tunisha has lost her father at a very young age could that could, could that also uh, really add to the impact so yeah so studies have shown that uh, you know children who lose a parent at an early age could be affected by depression even in later life you know and what typically happens is that if a child is supposed it shows that he or she is coping well and no one scratches the surface you know just any small event which should which can show that a kind of an abandonment or someone else is going to leave her can lead to an extreme reaction all right you know so doctor uh, lots of studies have shown that Uh, you know kids who lost a parent at early age have a double risk of depression or sometimes even 3 to 4 times more than what other people may go through right i really appreciate your time dr anjali for joining us on that